Hello, in this tutorial, we will show you how to create snow particles with Niagara system and control them in real time with Blueprint class. First, create a Niagara system and click New System from selected emitters. After adding the fountain emitter, click the Finish button. Next, set an appropriate name, then click to open a window. To spawn many particles, set Sim Target in Emitter Properties to GPU and check Fixed Bounds and set min and max of fixed bounds to about 10,000 like in the video so that particles can be seen even if they are far away. Next, set the value of the spawn rate to around 6,000. Next, uncheck add velocity in cone and set the radius value in sphere location to about 2,500. And if you look at the preview, you will see snow falling within a large sphere. In initialize particle, set the min and max values of lifetime and in color mode, Set only the alpha value to 0.6 to make the particles little transparent. Then set the min and max values of the sprite size. Next, uncheck drag and particle update to remove the resistance of the particle's movement and create an acceleration force. If an error occurs in the module as shown in the video, most errors are resolved by clicking the fix issue button. Then after setting the random range vector in acceleration force, Set the min and max values, as in the video, to apply the falling acceleration values. Next, apply the particle's gravity by setting the Z value in gravity force. When the settings are complete, save and return to the content browser. And try placing the Niagara system you just created on the level. Once you've seen snow fall on your level, Click on Niagara System again to open the window. In the parameter window, click the plus button of user exposed to create one vector variable and two float variables, and set names to the variables. And click user parameters in system setting to set each variable as shown in the video. Finally, drag and drop the variables to the values of spawn rate, sphere location, and gravity force as shown in the video so you can adjust the values in the blueprint. Next, click the blueprint icon at the top and open the level blueprint window. Create three keyboard event nodes and set the desired key for each. Here we will set the keys to 1, 2, 3. Next, if you have placed a Niagara system in your level, you will see a Niagara system in the World Outliner. Find and click it. Return to the blueprint with the Niagara system selected state, then right-click in the event graph and bring up the Niagara system reference, and drag the pin of the reference to create a set vector parameter node. Similarly, create two set float parameter nodes using Niagara component. Now, to adjust the values of the Niagara system components in blueprint class, set the same as the variable names set in Niagara system. Then, set the values of the parameter nodes as in the video. Connect the keyboard event node with the nodes that have set values. Copy the connected nodes and connect them with the other two keyboard event nodes in the same way. After the nodes are connected to all keyboard event nodes, set the values of the nodes as shown in the video so that you can adjust the values of snow particles. Now, if you save the level blueprint and play it, it starts to snow. And when you press the key set in the keyboard event, snow particles appear according to the parameter value set in the key. Thank you.